Now, join Archbishop Dr. Dominika Bierman in Global Awakening. Shalom, and welcome to Global Awakening. Hallelujah. We are here to share what's been happening in the nations with the messianic, apostolic, prophetic revolution move of Yah that is taking the nations by storm all the way from the South Pacific to the very north of the world, which is the area of Finland and Estonia. It is so exciting to me what is really happening because if you would have told me that this would be happening 25 years ago, I would have told you that uh, it looked like an impossibility. But when you obey Yah to do what he tells you to do and you begin to do the small thing that you need to do, you can expect that if it is from him, it will become a great wave of revival. Amen. Hallelujah. So I'm going to read to you from uh, Zechariah chapter 2. And in Zechariah chapter 2, verse 10, Sing for joy and be glad, O daughter of Zion. For behold, I am coming and I will dwell in your midst, declares Adonai. Many nations will join themselves to Yahweh in that day and will become my people. Then I will dwell in your midst, and you will know that Yahweh Sabaoth, the Lord of hosts, has sent me to you. Yahweh the Lord will possess Yehuda Judah as his portion in the Holy Land and will again choose Jerusalem. Be silent all flesh before Adonai, Yahweh the Lord, for he is aroused from his holy Habitation. You can see that in the end of times, the happening is that Israel will rejoice because many nations will join Israel. And that Yeshua or Yahweh, Adonai, the Lord, the God of Israel, will again choose Judah and will again choose Judah as his portion and Jerusalem. We are in those days, all the way from uh, the 14th of May of 1948. We can see that plainly. Everybody knows that God, Yahweh, has restored the people of Israel into the land of Israel. And therefore, we know that from that moment, many nations will begin to join us. And that is exactly what Romans 11 says when the Apostle Paul says that the Gentiles are to be grafted into the olive tree with the people of Israel. And so, with me, I've got here some precious ladies that have been uh, real apostles into their own nations. Uh, they are all GRM students, graduates of our Global Revival Map Bible School. That is both online and also uh, you can get the videos for it. But they've studied the Bible school. They've been ordained uh, by this ministry sent out from Jerusalem to speak the word outside, especially uh, the lady that is to my right, Apostle Sarah from uh, Finland, and she's going to share with us a little bit of what is happening in Finland. We're going to have uh, Eha with her. She is doing a work in Estonia, and she will tell you after, Apostle Sarah, what is happening in Estonia. By the way, Estonia was the country that during the Second World War, they boasted of be being Juden Frei, being, being the first country in the world that had no Jews in it, because that's what Hitler wanted. And so that a work like this, of restoration to the Jewish roots of the faith, to the gospel made in Zion, to Yeshua as the Jewish Messiah, to the true gospel is coming from Jerusalem in Estonia is nothing short of a miracle. Amen? Hallelujah. But we're going to start with Finland. Finland is a very dear nation to my heart. Their flag looks a little bit like the flag of Israel, except it doesn't have a Star of David, but it's also a blue and white flag. And next to me I have an amazing lady that's been an apostle for many, 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 many years, so many, many, many moves of Yah, and she has been to Israel today 104 times. So let's talk with you. Tell us what is happening in Finland with the Map Revolution message. So I'm Sarah, 84 years old. Or young. I was born again in year. Samana vuonna kuin Israel, 1948, Israel, kun Israel syntyi samana vuonna. Uh, so basically it's the same year when the uh, state of Israel was reborn. Uh, 
mutta olin 30 vuotta uskonnollinen, hyvin uskonnollinen. But uh, for 30 years I was uh, very religious. Hyvä luterilainen. I was good Lutheran. Uh, 79 vuonna uh, pyhenki tuli. You mean she was a good Lutheran? Lutheran. Lutheran. Uh-huh. Yeah. Lutheran. Uh, tuli se vuonna 1979 mun elämäni. Uh, in year uh, 79 Holy Spirit Ruach Kodesh entered my life. Ja muutti mun elämäni. Täysin, and everything täysin. was upside down. Ja, ja uh, aloin nähdä ihmeitä ja I started to see miracles. Ja uh, kaikella tavalla uh, kulkea tai sain suhteen. I received the relationship. Rakkaussuhde. Love relationship with Jees- my king. Jeesukseen. En tiennyt Je- Jeesusta. Back then mutta... I didn't know anything about Yeshua but I received a love relationship ja. Ja. Ja sen, to Jesus. Se, ja sen jälkeen uh, tapahtui paljon 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 uh, ihmeitä ja there after many miracles and things have happened ja, ja saarna sen israelista ja opetin israelista i was preaching about israel i was teaching about israel i was being in israel and on 30 vuotta about 30 years olen hyvä sionisti i was good zionist 26 maassa olen käynyt i have been in 86 countries asuimme israelissa kolme vuotta we lived in israel with my husband three years se oli ihme this was a miracle at two. Me kaikki ja 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 lähdimme tänne. We sold everything in uh, in Finland and left. Emme tiedä Israel. Olemmeko viikko vai kaksi? And we didn't know if we stayed there for two weeks or more. Olemme kolme vuotta. But we stayed there for three ja years. Ja hän piti huolen meistä. And yeah, they kept care. Ja. Took care of us. No, sitten tapahtui jotain. No, no niin, siis me olin karismaattinen. So I was charismatic. Ja sitten, sitten tuli usko liikehdintä. Then uh, the usko. Uh, the the faith movement. Ja, ja siinä olin. Then I was there in faith ja movement. Ymmärsin, sain, tai puhuin alkua Jumalan sanaa. And then I started to speak word of uh, God, word ja of Se on ollut mun, mun lääkkeeni. And this has been my medicine for, for all these years. Ja kaikki. And this has been everything for me. Word of God, Word of Yahweh. Mulla on aviomies. I have husband. Kolme lasta. Three children. Seitsemän lasten lasta. Seven ja kah- uh, uh, grandchildren. Ja kahdeksan las- neljä tapaa. And, and eight uh, grand grandchildren. Grand grand, yeah. <laughs> ja. Ja ka- kaikki melkein on käynyt täällä Israelissa. And almost everyone, every one of them has been in Israel. Mutta. But. Kerran olin Eilatissa. I was once in Eilat. Pyhäinkin. And the Holy Spirit talked to me. Nä, teen tässä kaupungissa sellaisia asioita, että sitä muuallakin puhutaan. I will do in this city miracles and things that all the world will hear about it. No, siellä oli yksi rukousryhmä ja minä kerroin tämän rukousryhmän ryhmän johtajalle tämän asian. And I remember there was a group of people praying and I, I told this about this prophecy uh, to, to one of the leaders of this prayer. Seuraavan kerran tulin sinne, niin, niin äh, nämä olivat tulleet, tämä, nämä Kaksi. And next time I was in Eilat, then already those two Olla dear rakkaat. people to me, uh, Archbishop and, and Rabbi, yeah. uh, arrived in Eilat. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, mitähän, ketähän nyt sitten and I was a little sus- suspicious who they are. They speak about, talk about Yeshua. Yeah, yeah. Minä en ollut käyttänyt, puhunut paljon äh, äh, Torahasta. Laista. And even though I was teaching and preaching about Israel, but I never uskon, uskon talked ty- anything about työnsi, Torah. Uskon liike työnsi kymmenen käskyä pois. Because as you know, the movement of faith, they actually uh, say that the Ten Commandments are not valid anymore. En, minä en saadannut parannuksen teosta. And I didn't preach uh, about the Shuvah. Ja, mä vähän ajan... The Shuvah being? Being re- <laughs> repentance. Thank yeah. you. Ja sitten, sitten minut johdatettiin raamattokoulun pyörillä. And then Spirit of Yah led me to the Bible School on the Wheels. Yksi ystävä maksoi mun matkan. One of the friends just uh, offered me the payment for this tour. Ja lyhyesti sanottuna se oli hirveä matka. And I must say the first tour was terrible. Avasin, ava, avasin itseni valheen hengelle. 
Because I opened myself to the wrong spirit. Ja uneliaisuuden henki. And this was a sleepy spirit. Siksi, että aloin, aloin ajatella tästä naisesta pahaa. Because tästä I started jälkeen. to think bad things and criticize this dear lady. Minä en sanoilla kritisoinut, vain ajatuksia. I, I criticized just with the thoughts. Ja I even didn't say anything, but in my thoughts. Ja kuitenkin, se oli ihan kamala. But it was still... Very bad. And after that, I thought that I am going to give birth to the, to the child because it was such a pain inside en, of me. En and I don't recommend, never think anything, anything bad of the God's anointed leaders. It's dangerous. Mutta. <laughs> Mutta. But. Sitten yksi, yksi Jumalan nainen heitti ne ulos minusta. <laughs> uh, because, <laughs> but then uh, I got rid of this wrong spirit. Ja, olin lukenut hänen kirjojaan. I was reading before some books uh, or I tried to read the books of enkä, uh, enkä niin paljon, enkä ymmärtänyt paljon. But I didn't understand. No, Very mitä, small things. Mitä tämä nyt on? Miksi on Ephraim? Mitä mä nyt niistä What Ephraim? Nä, what? Kymmenen, what? Uh, ne, ten kymmenen, näitä, näitä I don't need this Ephraim or ten tribes. What it means? <laughs> mitä ne mulle kuuluu? I don't care about them. It's not my business. Minut oli vapautettu. But as I was freed from this wrong spirit. Tulin myöhään illalla kotiin ja otin hänen kirjansa. Then I came home late evening and I took again one of her books. Tämä on ihan selvä asia. This was probably the healing power of the no, rules. Kuinka yeah? tätä ymmärtänyt? And then suddenly I realized, how couldn't I res- uh, understand this before? It is so clear. Ja it is alkoi. so simple. Siitä se alkoi. And from this moment it siitä started. Se. Shalom. I want to invite you to take GRM, Global Revival Map Bible School. It was a download from heaven to my wife, the Archbishop Dominika Bierman. It is a Bible school like no other. It's accredited from AA to doctorate. That's right, this school is accredited and it will help you to know God in an intimate way. And he wants you to celebrate his wonderful holidays. Take this course and you'll never be the same. Israel and the Jewish Messiah revealed, restoring the apostolic Jewish roots of the faith. Study online in the comfort of your home For more information, call us or visit our website, Press Bible School. So I have to repeat the class and came back next year again. And then it was most, one of the most wonderful trips for me. And she's my mentor. Even though she's younger than my daughters. But <laughs> because my oldest daughter is uh, 64. <laughs> Just, uh, yeah. Pension. Mua ei kukaan enää saanut olemaan, olemaan hiljaa. And then nobody could uh, make me silent. Ja mä aloin puhua toiselle. Oi, oi, oi. Aloin puhua toiselle. And I started to talk ja to se, others. Ja seurauksina siitä nyt on näin, että, että, että meillä on tulossa yhdistys. And as a result of all these uh, um, years is that we are going to establish soon uh, the um, uh, unity, the kind of congregation, which is uh, uh, in Finnish Tulen Astet, but in English it's uh, uh, the same Kad Esh. Yeah, Kad Esh. Vessel of fire. Yeah, we have been a little bit piilossa. A couple of years we have been a little bit underground. Mutta me olemme nyt olemme nousemassa ylös. But now we are about to raise. Näkyviin. So that people can see. Ja. 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 And uh, Archbishop is going soon this next year coming again for a conference. Ja me odotamme räjähdystä Suomessa. Uh, and we are uh, we are waiting for expl- explosion in Finland. Amen. For this conference to be. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. And odotamme, että miehiä tulisi enemmän. And we expect that more men will come. Olen iloinen, että täällä ainakin yksi mies on edustettu. And I'm happy that this one man is here represented from Finland. Meitä on 
Mitä viime vuonna sai kahdeksan muistaakseni todistukset? Uh, as far as I remember, last year eight Finnish uh, got a graduation GRM. But maybe we are about 20 people who are on the route, who are part of the students who are part of still studying in a GRM Bible school. Yeah, joka puolella nousee tulen astioita. Joo, alas oli. And in every place that that the fire is going to be lighted. In every place the fire is going to be lit. Lit. Well, praise the Lord! Let's give a clap offering to Apostle Sarah and Finland. Gonna realize that she's coming from a nation that Lutheranism has been the major religion in there, and that many people are. Christians on paper, but not really born again. And so, you know, even breaking through, you know, with a small amount of people, remember what I told you before, and I've said it many times, the power is in the small. And uh, Adonai says in his word, right, in uh, the book of Zechariah 4, verse 6, he says that do not despise, what? The days of small things, or the small beginnings. You know, we all were once a little seed that became a baby, and it exploded. But the truth is that she's been quite humble about what's happening in Finland, uh, because we have had many Finnish people coming and going from the Elat Prayer Tower for the last seven years. Uh, many, many have come and gone. Many have heard the message. Um, I've been on TV in Finland a couple of times as well with a message uh, before. And I want to tell you that there is a grassroots work that's very wholesome that has started in Finland. And the basics of it has been studying the Global Revival Map, the GRM Bible School. It has been the basics because that Bible school helps you to remove all of the religious mindsets that will not allow you to recognize Yeshua as a Jewish Messiah, yes, God in the flesh, but he was born as a Jew. And recognize that the scriptures from the Hebrew perspective, is there, it's, a, it's mandatory for the purpose of the end time revival. There is not going to be, and mark my words, I'm going to talk about it in another program, but there is not going to be a global awakening or a global revival without it. Shalom. I want to invite you to take GRM, the Global Revival Map Bible School. The Bible School was given to my wife, Archbishop Dominica, by God. It was a download, the whole school from beginning to end. It will give you an intimacy with God like you've never known before. Take this course and you won't be the same. Israel and the Jewish Messiah Revealed, restoring the apostolic Jewish roots of the faith Study online in the comfort of your home. For more information, call us or visit our website, Press Bible School. Because he's coming back to Israel. He's coming back to Jerusalem, and he will be called Yeshua again. And every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that Yeshua is the Lord. And Shabbat will again be Shabbat and the, and, and the feast will again be the, the holy biblical feast. And uh, things are happening in Israel right now that are preparing for the return of the Messiah. Though for many of the Jewish people, he's only coming for the first time. Uh, but, uh, but those that know, they know that he's returning back here. So I just want you to know that, you know, Things are happening at the ends of the earth and especially in Scandinavia. So we're going to see something now happening in Estonia as well, not only in Finland. And in Estonia, it would be an impossibility to get anything Jewish there. Because in Estonia, there has been a hatred of Jews uh, that was so difficult, so terrible, that they didn't even want any Jew in the country. And uh, so to have a work start in Estonia is nothing short of the miraculous. For, for those that are you know, watching this or listening to this and they've never really known who we are, what we're doing, 
go ahead on our website and download our free download called the map revolution go to our shop and download the map revolution it will show you how from the fourth century and on there was a divorce from the jewish roots of the church and the, uh, the jewish roots of the faith and from then on christianity developed a religious system apart from Yeshua as a Jewish Messiah. In other words, he became like a Greek, his name became Greek, uh, pagan feasts were adopted, and uh, a tremendous anti-Semitism or hatred for the Jewish people developed from then on. And this has been, beloved, the very thing that has stopped and blocked every revival. Revival start and revival stop because it never goes all the way back home. And it is time for it going all the way back home, all the way back to the gospel made in Zion. That is right. With Jewish roots, with biblical foundations, with apostolic Hebrew foundations of faith, with the feast, with the Shabbat, with the Torah restored and spoken into our life, and with the power of the Holy Spirit with signs, wonders, and miracles. That is the way we do the work, and that is the way it needs to be done. Anything else is basically... I believe fake because if it doesn't have both the word and the spirit, that is not the true messianic movement. Messianic, by the very word messianic, it comes from Messiah, which means the anointed one, or the anointed one with his anointing. So if something is not anointed and empowered by the Holy Spirit, beloved ones, run the other direction. Hallelujah. Amen. So we're talking about the restoration of the Jewish roots. Hallelujah. But we're not talking about the rejection of the Holy Spirit. We're talking about Torah and Spirit. Can we say it together? Torah and Spirit. So we're going to hear now from Eha from Estonia how Torah and Spirit has been breaking through some of the hardest ground in the world. I am Eha and um, uh, I am... Uh, 52 years old now, uh, and uh, <laughs> nobody will believe you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's why this is, as nobody will believe that Sara is 84, so I'm just uh, following in her steps. <laughs> and uh, this, is, uh, this is all the, the Jewish roots, this is the uh, rich olive oil, this is the rich olive oil that heals, that gives you power, that gives you food. That is the truth, and it makes you to stand and grow and prosper. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Shalom. I want to tell you about a book that my wife wrote. That's her testimony of how God came and started speaking to her. And what her answer was. Her answer was yes. She spoke the words yes to God and yes to his calling and yes to everything that God is asked to do, even marrying me, the rabbi. So guess what? Her book can set many people free. It's a testimony of how God can even reach a totally lost Israeli tour guide. Please read, please buy the book, Yes. I have been a Christian uh, since um, uh, 1993. And um, uh, as we talked uh, about this uh, um, Papua's uh, new uh, Guinea, uh, which is considered as 97% Christian, but same time as the um, uh, nation with the, with the uh, highest percentage of idolatry. So I can say that I was uh, one of these because I was also Christian. I was believer, but I lived as a whore in a literal meaning of this word. And um, uh, when in the year 2012, uh, first time I was in a conference of Kaddish Map in Finland, uh, where um, I basically came, uh, and during the conference uh, I was drinking wine. So, um, it, because I'm, I was used to that, I couldn't live without alcohol, and um, uh, there I made first time mikve uh, in a very cold, uh, uh, sea. it was not sea, it was a lake, it was dirty, it was cold, it was raining, it was something like plus 10, but I made it. And, uh, and after that, I must say that first time I started to realize what is the purity, 
What is something that when Yahweh says that be holy as I am holy, it means in Hebrew be separated from me as I am separated from myself. And if we are presenting the king of the kings, then everything what we do, everything how we dress, what we say, must be to the glory of the king of the kings, the most high Israel, God of Israel. But I have not representing my king. I was wearing this name and actually putting it in shame. And this is what I started to learn through the return, uh, returning to the roots. That what is actually how, how someone who is uh, uh, in the covenant with the king of the kings must live. Because he sees everywhere. And uh, 2013, this was uh, when I invited first time uh, Bishop Dominica to come to Estonia. And I had no idea how I'm, how I'm going to do that because I was basically just myself. And uh, as Finland has been um, uh, used by Yahweh uh, as, a, as a big helper for, for uh, bringing this m message to many nations, so also Finland was... Uh, uh, supporting us to be able to have this first conference. And, uh, and I also remember that uh, uh, I believe that Bishop Dominica was the first uh, preacher who came and said, Estonia, everyone else came, oh, I see the light over Estonia, I see the blessing over Estonia, I see this, oh, everything is wonderful. But she came and say, said, I see darkness over Estonia. And they didn't like this message. So next conference in uh, same year, November, only half of people came. But what is going on today, uh, actually since um, the last conference, every Saturday at my place uh, for a Shabbat meeting, people are coming together. And they are coming together not only from Tallinn, where is, which is capital of Estonia, where I live. They come from 100 kilometers, 150 kilometers, even sometimes more. And, and, and this is really something uh, what, what I have prayed. I prayed from Ruach HaKodesh, Holy Spirit, that I don't want anymore to invite people, but you invite them. Because I don't want them who come and I look for. I don't want them who come just because it is popular, because something, ah, oh, I've learned something new, something like, oh, I have uh, these goosebumps. I, wa I want people who are really hungry who really want to have a truth, who really want their life to be changed. And one of these sisters is today with me, so we are not many, but uh, uh, at least now the, the, mm, the root is, is, is starting to, to bring fruits in people's life. And uh, even though there is very few books that are translating, only the name of Yeshua, uh, which is called uh, this uh, very dangerous red book, that needs to be thrown out, that nobody should read it be because it's, it's, it, it can kill you. It can kill your faith. But anyway, and then uh, the map revolution is now in Estonian, and then uh, one that uh, is under the process of translation is now the sheep nations. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. So I believe that the... Um, hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Amen. Let's give a clap of praise to you, Amen.